Do you wonder what to do when launching or relaunching your business? Do you go and write a list of a hundred names? Do you go and bug your friends and families? Do you go outside of your house wondering where is the next person with a pulse, hair and skin to talk to? Do you maybe just plaster the name of your company you're presenting as well as the product you are selling all over your social media? Or maybe that's just what you've been taught. So, just one thing is, do not do what I did, which is all the above that I've just mentioned, because truly it is going to hurt you as well as hurt your brand more than anything else. So in this episode number 99, I'm going to share with you the one simple strategy to go out there, find the people who are wanting what you got and never run out of leads ever again. So, stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from ThierryGadexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online so you can monetize your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new episode and a new freebie attached to it that you can download using your business and also in your personal life as it is sometimes very much linked with one another. In this week episode, I want to share with you the one simple strategy on how to go and find the leads that are wanting what you got and never run out of people to talk to. Really, truly, I firmly believe that the first thing that should be taught to anyone who wants to start a business, whether it's freelancing, traditional businesses, online mar online businesses or else, is to figure out your audience. The magic of knowing who you're gonna serve is definitely going to save you some time, energy, and most likely some money as well. So if you wanna dive deeper into this, I would definitely urge you to go and check out my episode number 40 by going on thierryvalexander.com forward slash 40, just like you can see right here in this below. My second tip to take when launching or relaunching your business, and in fact, at all times, it's to hang out where your audience is. You see, when you find out who is it that you wanna serve, you'll know by default where they are hanging out, and this is where you wanna go. This is where you wanna spend your time to socialize, make connections, and prospect at the same time. Typically speaking, I do suggest to my clients to get two to three, to pick two to three uh, Facebook groups and go there, socialize and make connections uh, every single day, literally. However, remember that this is not the place to spam. You know, you don't want to be like posting all about your product and service, etc. You want to make true, genuine connections and then you turn them into friends get them a little bit further into the process. The reason being is that if you start being spamming and say, to, making posts saying, contact me, share, with, share on my wall, or sharing even stuff from your page in the groups that you are part of as a member, you most likely gonna get booted out by the admin because they are also building a community and a business, so it's understandable. You've got to do it in a sexy way, as I like to say. Now, if you want to dive deeper into this, and I know today I'm giving you a lot, if you want to dive deeper into how to prospect for profit into Facebook groups, just refer to my episode number 80. ThierryVAlexander.com forward slash 8080, as you can see right here. That will tell you way more on how to go about prospecting in Facebook groups specifically. And as you know, each and every week, I'm also giving you a new freebie for you to implement in your business and or in your personal life. This week, because we're talking about launching or relaunching your business and the three steps that goes along with it, I brought to you my freebie, which is the three easy steps to business launch that is going to give you as it says on the tin, three easy steps for you to launch or relaunch your business. Really simple, but yet 
effective. So if you want to get access to this freebie, just click on the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically into your email box. If you're on any other platforms, whether on YouTube or anywhere else than on this video on my blog, then just refer to the description section where you will see a link to get you back to my blog which under this video again you'll see a massive yellow button you cannot miss that will get you access to your three easy steps to business launch and my final tip is to have a plan now that you figured out who's your audience whether they are hanging out you've got to put a plan of action in place so that way you can be efficient effective and consistent at all times. That's really, really important. The best way to go about it is to create what we call a DMO, a daily method of operation for you to know what to do at what time, when, etc. If you only had, let's say, for example, one hour each and every single day to work your business out, you can split that hour in chunks of 15 minutes throughout the day. So 15 minutes to prospect and connect into uh, Facebook groups and make also some post content, some content, 15 minutes to add five new friends each and every single day, 15 minutes to send messages to those people, 15 minutes, then the last 15 minutes to follow up. That's an hour and you are doing a little chunks of activity throughout this, this hour, which has been divided in conquer throughout the day. So very easy, simple and effective at the same time. And of course, if you have more time, then feel free to spend more time in your business right? Do not limit yourself for something that you love doing and that you can impact other people with massively. So in conclusion, these tips are very simple, right? But believe me, if I say that if you do not apply those, you will get a hard time running your business. They're so simple to do, but so easy not to do as well. And by, and by having a hard time, you might even throw the towel in, which is not the purpose of you running your business. And remember, I've got your back as well with my three easy steps to a successful business launch, which is going to take you through three steps, no more, no less, to launch or relaunch your business in a very effective and fun way as well, which is going to attract so many people to you, asking you for more information that it's going to make your life so much easier. So if you want to have access to this freebie, you can just get click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically to your email box. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, smash the share button, send it to your fellow network marketers, makeup artists, entrepreneurs, whomever you think could benefit from these three ultimate tips on how to launch or relaunch their business. Question of the week. What other steps would you suggest any beginner who wants to start the business to do when they first start? in whatever they're doing. What other tips would you have? When you're looking at yourself, at your past self, what recommendations would you give your own self when you first started? Share with me in the comment section, I'd love to know. It's always nice to empower each other and to see where you're at and what you've got going on uh, in your mind in terms of what you'd like to share. So thank you so much for tuning in. I love connecting with you each and every single week. This episode is a wrap, but I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye-bye.